Okay, so I've got an incredible Commodore Amiga video for you tonight, and it's quite likely you've not come across this little project. But before I show you what this is all about, make sure to hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And if you're a big Commodore fan like myself, then you have found the right channel. I'm always uploading C64 and Commodore Amiga content, also uploading a range of different setup guides for emulation for WinUA and FSUA. And talking about FSUAE, that is going to be the point of this video tonight. So this is Amiga Live and Amiga Live is an online multiplayer gaming project. Now the beauty with Amiga Live is that you don't need kickstart files and you don't need games. You literally download this and play it against anyone across the world. Before I download this, if we just go under a list of games available, this is every game that this supports. Now, a little while back, maybe a month and a half, two months ago, I uploaded a video for something very similar with arcade games, uh, Neo Geo, Mape, uh, Neo Geo main games and that was Fightcade and it's just recently come to my attention this Amiga Live project and it's very cool. So it's based on FSUAE which is a Win UAE fork but it's very simplified and that's the point of FSUAE so let's actually download this and I'm going to show you how good this is like really really good. So this is going to be available uh, currently. It's on Windows 64-bit computers. It's on Mac OS, Linux 64-bit, and ARM-based computers, so Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do is download the Windows 64-bit. And like I was saying, there's no need to mess around with game files or even Kickstart files or anything like that. Everything is self-contained. So everything's self-contained in this little package, and it's so easy to use. So if I just extract the Amiga Life folder, Okay, so it takes a little length of time just to extract that, but here we are. This is Amiga Live, and this is a content. So we've obviously got FSUA folder in here, and we've also got a backgrounds folder. Now, once we're inside the, the GUI, the graphical user interface, we can actually customize how it looks. If we just open up Amiga Live.exe, Windows protected your PC. More info, run anyway. And just give this time to initialize. It only takes around 60 seconds, if that. Okay, so this is the main GUI or graphical user interface and to start playing either single player or multiplayer, we just need to configure some settings here. So as standard as this is downloaded, by default, under controller selection, keyboard is going to be shown. Now I'm using an Xbox Series X controller. If I just select this one and what I'm going to do next is if I want to play this online, I just need to make sure that play offline is just checked. So it's unchecked actually. And that's going to bring us into the online multiplayer mode. And we got an option here to auto join a game once we select one, which will boot us straight in once there's other players around the world to play with. So our games are under this list just here. And this is going to be the entire list of Amiga games. We can potentially play online with people all around the world like i say now if i just choose a game at random here uh, for some reason i'm thinking of a cj game uh cj's elephant antics this is whd load version all i need to do next then is go to server location and i'm going to select europe united kingdom because that's where i'm located and what i'm going to do next is just go to auto join game and now it's just a case of waiting for other players to join in so we've got excellent ping just here as it just said it lights up green so everything's looking good and obviously for multiplayer we want to be selecting two plus so if we just leave this for a few seconds, under games available to join, eventually names will come up. So let's just give this a few seconds. And whilst I'm waiting for this game, what we can do is actually customize the theme. So if I go to visual options, change background, we can obviously put our own backgrounds in this, but just bear in mind these are in .png. So let's just check out cannon fodder. 
And there we go. We now got a cannon fodder background. If we go to more options just here, we can then play around with further controller settings, uh, custom settings. From here, we can even change video settings. So full screen mode is currently on. I'm not going to use a full screen mode for this. I'm going to go for default and full screen monitor. I'm also going to select this one is off. So if you use FSUA already, you're likely going to be very familiar with these type of settings. We've also got SDLX input checked. If you have any issues to your controller that you're going to be using, just uncheck that one. So there's lots of different options here to be using. So let's just close out of this. And we're still waiting for other players to join this game. And let me just also remind you that they do have a Discord server. So you can join that and you can actually request games to be uploaded onto Amiga Live. So like I say, even if you can't play a multiplayer game, this is your golden opportunity to relive memories of the 80s and early 90s. And you don't need any kickstart files. How amazing is that? Okay, so after around a minute and a half now waiting, I've just given up. But like I say, we can actually play these games offline. So what I need to do then is just simply go to play offline. Just make sure that one's checked. Uh, sometimes using Amiga Live, if you're playing a game, a little note will come up on the screen saying you're connected to whatever. If you just fancy an offline game, all we need to do is just go to start. Now, if you've got any issues whilst you're in the game, uh, to bring up a menu, if we just press F12, like I've done just here, this is uh, your normal way of getting into the menu just here using FSUAE. We can then go down to input options and we can change the joystick mode from just here. To exit out, I'm just going to press F12. And of course, this is the WHD load of Chaos Engine. So we're going to have cheats in there if you want to enable cheats. There we go, very cool stuff. So let's try and join again. So if I just go to play offline and make sure that's unchecked. So ping is excellent as we can see. Uh, and tell you what, let's just check out another game. So if I go right to the bottom, I'm gonna go to Zool 2. Let's check this one and see if anyone's around to play this with. So you know what, I'm actually gonna give up trying to connect, but trust me, 
this works perfectly normally. It's just so happens to be that I'm recording a video for my channel and no one's around to play with them. So anyways, I'll leave the link in my description for Amiga Live and you can check this out yourself. And as you can see just there, there's so many games here that particular games people aren't going to be online with at the time. However, other games, maybe some football games will be more popular. So anyways, if you like the video, stay hit notification, subscribe so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And also be sure to check out my Amiga main setup guide which I've covered in the past. WinUAE, an uh, emulator called Denise, which I've also covered. I've also done Amiga Forever and a few others. So there's lots of Amiga content on my channel. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.